it was this guy. <laughs> Get this guy out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Lorand is a pretty strong unit with a very unique playstyle and mechanics. But one thing which she borrows from Arlacchino is her reliance on constellation for interruption resistance. And of course, constellations cost money. But you, my friend, are in luck since you can get that constellation for a 20% cheaper price than what it would normally cost you. Thanks to our sponsor, Loot Bar. Loot Bar is the best way to top up in your favorite games like Genshin Impact and Honkai Star Rail. And that too, only using your UID, which makes makes it really secure. Basically, you scroll 2 inches down this video and click the first link in the description which will take you to this site where you'll be presented with a bunch of options, all cheaper than what you see in game. Next, you select what you want, for instance, I'll select the $42 pack which in game will cost me $50. Then I'll enter the UID, select the server and click this yellow top up button to the payment and boom, you just got your gems in literally 2 minutes. At an $8 cheaper price and the money you saved goes in your piggy bank. Now that's what we call a win-win scenario. Loot Bar is 100% trustworthy and is even endorsed by big shots like Dukajar, Teva Times and Jello Impact. Now, unless you hate money, start using Loot Bar today from the link given in the description and as a first time user, you will even get an additional 5% discount on your purchase, making your savings an astounding 20%. Now that's what we call a steal. Thanks to Loot Bar for sponsoring today's video and let's get right back into it. So, like our Lakino, Clorand also has Bond of Life mechanics, cuz why not? And with the latest buffs, she deals quite good damage in my opinion, but not enough to make her new level level of course, cuz honestly, can no man knock me out. I'm tired of being humble. I'm tired of letting people think they got a chance. But to compensate for her buffs, they nerfed her healing. Now, if you're confused about what I just yapped, then worry not, cuz I'm gonna be going over everything related to Chlorand in this video since I have seen a lot of misinformation being spread in the community. And I promise you that once you see this video, you will have a perfect understanding of everything Chlorand, cuz I'm gonna be covering her updated kit along with all her minor intricacies. But before we start, I would like to mention two things. First is the bond of life mechanic which is the red thingy around your HP bar that needs to be healed first before healing the actual character themselves. And second is her general rotation which starts off with using your support abilities followed by Chloran's burst if available, elemental skill twice, followed by normal attack three times and then you repeat the last two steps until the skill duration ends. Now I know that her rotation doesn't seem anything crazy especially compared to our Lakino, but that's a plus point in my opinion cuz more people People will be able to play her easily and as always I'll have this rotation on screen while explaining her kit cause that will make it easier to understand and I implore you to watch this video fully so that you will have a perfect understanding of everything related to Chloran but if you still have any questions after watching this video then make sure to drop them down in the comments below and I'll respond to each and every one of you individually. With that being said let's delve right into it. Starting off with the normal attacks which are just that basic sword attacks and nothing more. In fact, they are so useless that you don't even need to level them up cause all of her damage comes from her skill and burst. And speaking of skill, this is the most interesting part about her kit and the source of most of her damage. So as soon as you press the skill button, she enters a special state which we will call the Texas state. Now in this state, her normal attacks which were just those basic sword attacks, they are changed to bullet shots and these bullet shots scale off of her skill, making the normal attack talent absolutely useless like I said before. But this doesn't mean that any normal attack buffs won't fuck with it, no no no, cause the bullet shots even though use the skill scaling are still counted as normal attacks, meaning Junjin's normal attack buff or the 2 piece hunter set effect will still work. Now aside from just looking cool, these bullets grant Chloran 35% bond of life per shot until it goes over 100%, meaning 3 bullet shots. And one interesting thing about the bond of life indicator is that it will always be half of how much you actually have. So let's say you have 70% bond of life, then it will only show up as 35% of the HP bar in the indicator. So these bullet shots are piercing shots, which means that if enemies are standing in a straight line, it will go through all of them dealing damage to everyone. But as soon as you go over 100% bond of life, these shots will be changed to non-piercing shots, meaning they won't pass through enemies anymore and at the same time, 
think they'll also do less damage. So, to summarize all of this crap, bullet shots fired below 100% bond of life will be piercing shots and will do more damage along with giving 35% bond of life to Chlorand per shot. But after you get over 100% bond of life, these shots will be changed to non-piercing shots, with each shot dealing less damage and not giving bond of life anymore. And that's why using bullet shots after 100% bond of life is a pretty significant DPS loss in my opinion. But this is where her actual proper skill attack comes into play. So her skill attack has three levels, with the first level being when you have 0% bond of life. At this state, her skill will do minimum damage while not healing her at all. But as soon as you get over 0% bond of life, the skill attack would be enhanced to level 2, where they'll deal more damage and also heal her. But the healing won't be much of course since we still have a level beyond this. And the next level is when she has over 100% bond of life. At this state, her skill has ascended even further beyond and has reached its max damage capacity along with max healing. So when you do the skill now, she will lunge through enemies and deal 3 instances of damage damage, while in the previous levels she was only dealing 1. So basically, at 0% bond of life, she will deal minimum damage with no healing, at bond of life above 0 but under 100, she will deal slightly more damage and also heal. And above 100% bond of life, she will deal maximum damage along with max healing. And this healing is based off of her bond of life. For instance, at level 3, she will heal for 110% of the current bond of life she has per skill attack. And if you understood her kit till now, then you would know it means 110% of 105 bond of life. Cause each bullet shot will give 35% bond of life and 35 plus 35 plus 35 equals 105. So 110% of 105 is 115.5 and out of the 115%, 105 will be used to clear up the bond of life you already had and the remaining 10.5% is the healing Chloran will actually receive. Also while Chloran is in Texas state, any external healing she receives which means healing from anyone other than herself will be converted to bond of life, meaning she can go over 100% bond of life that much quicker. Now moving on to her burst. Yeah, so that's exactly what her burst is. It's an AoE attack with a range similar to that of Kaching, I would say, and it grants Chloran 120% bond of life, and that's it. Now let's talk about her passives, and this is where misinformation in the community starts. So, she has a talent like New Bullet, where she gets extra damage from her bullet shots and burst whenever an electro reaction is triggered by the team for up to 3 stacks. But unlike New Bullet, she doesn't require 3 different reactions to gain 3 stacks. I repeat, she doesn't require 3 different reactions to gain 3 stacks. Instead, the same reaction done multiple times will count towards this passive, meaning 3 electro charge reactions or 3 overload reactions will max out this passive's buff. Another passive of Chloran, which everyone is sleeping on, is the 20% extra crit rate. Basically, after Chloran's bond of life goes above 100, further increasing or decreasing the bond of life will give her 10% extra crit rate for up to 2 stacks meaning 20% extra crit rate. Now let's put on our thinking cap shall we and think about the benefits of this passive. So in a Purina team where HP changes are inevitable, Chloran can potentially get 81% crit rate without even a single stat of crit rate in our artifact. Cause after the initial 2 skill hits, Chloran will have no problems maintaining the 20% extra crit rate for the rest of the battle. And if we combine that with our base crit rate of 24.2 and add in the 4 piece hunter set effect, then we are looking at 24.2 plus 20 plus 36 percent crit rate without even a single crit rate stat, which means you are getting 80 percent crit rate for free. And I'll go into more details about her teams, constellations and other questions you people might have in a future video, so subscribe for that. Alright, so now that we understand all her talents, let's start from the top of her rotation once again to fully finalize whatever we have understood so far. So the battle starts off with support abilities, for followed by Chloran's burst if you have it, which will immediately give her 120% bond of life. Next, you press the skill button to enter texture state and then press it again to do a level 3 lunge skill, cause you already have over 100% bond of life from the burst. 
Doing this will clear whatever bond of life she had and also heal her. Then you do 3 normal attacks or bullet shots with each shot giving her 35% bond of life totaling 105. Then you skill again and continue this cycle for 9 seconds after which the skill will enter cooldown. Now if you don't have the burst in the beginning then just press the skill button once followed by 3 normal attacks, skill again and repeat. The subscribe button. So, now that we understand her kit, there are some issues with her which again, I have seen no one talk about. First is the anti-synergy with Benny and what do I mean by that? Well, just to clear up, I'm not saying that you cannot use her with Benny at all. No, no, no. The issue lies in her passive which increases her bullet and burst damage based on her attack. And without going into the math, the passive's buffs are limited to 3000 attack on Chlorand after which you essentially get blocked. And if you have a decent Benny, then you can can literally reach 3.5k attack in his circle. So while that extra 500 attack will improve her damage overall, it's useless to the passive. And besides this, almost every character has the problem of circle impact. But with Chlorand, it's even more worse due to how she functions. Cause you're constantly lunging around with her skill and before you know it, you're outside Benny's circle. And this problem is further compounded by another issue I noticed. But whatever issues I see from now should be taken with a grain of salt cause they might not be issues in the live version. With that being said, there is an issue with Chlorand's auto targeting right now where she will lunge in the direction of the camera. Normally, even if you're looking at the exact opposite direction of the enemy, the auto targeting will ensure that if there are enemies nearby, you'll attack them first. But with Chlorand's lunges, she will do them wherever the camera is pointing to. Meaning if you are looking at an enemy and are slightly off, then chances are that Chlorand's lunge will probably miss but this isn't an issue with her bullet shots they are working perfectly and have no auto targeting issues so we are just gonna have to wait and see if this gets fixed later or is it working as intended and if you have been listening to what i have been yapping you would have probably figured out that her skill is kind of like ayato's where the normal attack talent is absolutely useless and the character is skill reliant but unlike ayato chlorine's bullet shots aren't affected by attack speed buffs for instance, Yunjin C6 buffs the active character's attack speed by 12% and this works in Ayato's case. But for Chlorand, it doesn't buff her bullet shots. Instead, it buffs her normal sword strikes, which like I said before, no one is using. And just to clear up, normal attack buffs like Yunjin's ultimate still work with her bullet shots but not attack speed buffs. So despite all these issues, the reason you should pull for her is not cause of her damage. It's because even with the current buffs, they didn't buff one thing in particular and that thing are her buttons which means she busted out of those things sometime soon cause holy and if that ain't worth spending $10,000 then I don't know what is.